Good morning. What is this new covenant that Jesus is talking about? Today we're in Mark 14, verse 22 to 26. Let's read it. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. Assuredly, I say to you, I will no longer drink of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. So we're coming right up on the betrayal of Jesus. But here's this, here's this uh, statement about the New Testament. What is this New Testament business all about? Jesus speaks here of the new covenant. He speaks of his blood being shed for many. In a nutshell, God created angels and humans and gave them free will. Some angels abused that free will and rebelled. Adam and Eve were two uh, actual persons who by a combination of bad decisions and the misuse of their free choice affected all of us and weakened humanity. So God promised to send Jesus, Genesis 3.15, he promised to send Jesus to be punished for us in our place, to die for us in our place, and to give us this gift of his righteousness. We don't have any part in it. We haven't earned it. We never will earn it. It's just purely a gift, and he's giving us an opportunity to come back to him. To all who are willing to accept this beautiful choice of living an unselfish life, of receiving the Spirit of Jesus, uh, he gives this opportunity to be pardoned and to live a transformed life uh, right here and now. It is the opportunity of the century. Why would we ever turn it down? But this is part of the new covenant deal, new covenant offer that Jesus makes to you and me. Adam and Eve were damaged when they sinned against God, but God is ready to give us power to overcome this damaged humanity that we walk into this world with, that we come into this world with, so that we have these beautiful opportunities. Opportunities for goodness, to do good, and to put goodness into this world on Jesus' behalf. Since God gave us free choice, he takes on the punishment that stems from us misusing that free choice. Jesus is the one of the three persons of the Godhead who takes our humanity and comes to this world and takes on our punishment in our place. He dies for man, and God will put his sacrifice in place of our death so that we can have the gift of eternal life. God will accept Jesus' sacrifice for us and raise him and us from the dead. This makes Jesus our Savior. The Old Covenant was man trying to do good in his own power, which can only be a total failure. The New Covenant is man living by the power of God, living by faith and doing whatever good we do in his power. And he gets all the credit because it's his power. Salvation is a gift from Jesus to unworthy man. His sacrificial death on the cross is the center of this new covenant. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your great mercies to us. You give us life. We certainly haven't given you anything worthy, and we, we cannot at this point. But what we can do is surrender through your strength that you provide. We can come to you, draw close to you. We can receive your invitation and be joined to your new covenant. You've sealed it with your blood, your sinless life in place of ours. Please, Lord, use us, receive us, join us to your family, use us for good, uh, that we can bring good into this world. Thank you for these, this precious opportunity, this precious offer that we couldn't come to you and ask for. It's something that you give to us. It was your initiative that gives us life. Thank you, Lord, for giving us life. May every single person who is in the hearing of my voice receive your offer and become part of your new covenant. Oh Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you have embraced God's new covenant plan for salvation. God be with you.